Hi YouTube family and group family. Is it family, friends, community, whatever name you want to use. Hi guys. I've decided I'm going to, on YouTube, I'm already doing it in group, jump on camera a little bit more. Um, today I'm showing off my beautiful new, very expensive bowl haircut. You're welcome. And I'm going to be taking you on a trip to the cheapest charity or thrift store that I know of locally. I haven't been for months. I'm taking £10, about 12, 13 US dollars, about 18 Aussie dollars with me. I'm going to go outside my comfort zone and film whilst I hunt. I hate doing things like that because I feel everyone's staring at me, but I'm sacrificing myself for you guys. So let's go. Okay, let's go. God, the weather, it's so cold. Right, there's my little car. I'm going to do a bit of a country lane drive down to an industrial estate. I know, sounds a bit odd. The excitement of a British industrial estate. And that's where we're going. I'm mostly looking for books and material. These would make cool journal covers. Let's find out how much those are. How cool are they? This is 20 pence. I think these are the pictures. They'd go in a modern journal. I'll have to think about that, but it is really cheap. We have a massive pile of kids' National Geographic magazines. But I've got a feeling we'll have great um, pictures in and even letters that you can use. I'm just like, look at that. You could use all that lettering and even some of these facts in a junk journal. I just need to find out how much they are per magazine. I've got a load of books. Now with books, I tend to just use them and recover them. Just take the middle out and recover them. So it really does depend how much they're charging for a book. Obviously you can use the book pages as well. That one, for example, is a pound, which isn't too bad because it would make a chunky journal. I have loads and loads of books here. I mean, just so many. Traveller's Atlas, Encyclopedia of Gardening, Plants and Flowers, all of these. Atlas of the World, Botanica Atlas, all of these are going to have great junk journal pages in. Okay, so we've got a Miller's Collector's Guide. Look at all these pictures you can fussy cut out. Black and white, photos, dolls, look, even some team pictures. Colour and black and white. All of these can be used pens. The junk journal decoration. This is a must. This is actually a pound, about one dollar thirty, so not cheap. But look at how much stuff you can get from this. That's awesome. Also, for a pound, there is an illustrated dictionary. Ten p for music scores. Fifteen cents. Even better value. I found. These whole books of music sheets and they're 30 pence and then I've also for 30 pence found a geometry book which you can see would make great background papers. This is a pair of curtains and it's three pound about four dollars and they're huge they're full length and actually I think they're possibly lined yeah they're lined as well so look how much material you'd get out of those okay look at this sewing patterns 50 pence you've even got one with a little kid's illustration we've got some embroidery kits cards and gift bags no price on this, but look, yeah, that can be cut up and lined along the edge of a journal. I got the pillows. They gave me a pound off. Two pillow uh, cushions cost me two pounds, about just under three US dollars. Three and a half for Aussie dollars. I didn't buy the curtaining material simply because I don't sew. 
and it's going to be months until I do have the time to learn how to sew using a sewing machine. So although it was awesome material and you, oh, the dog has decided to get his football and hit the tripod again. Although you could have got so many journal covers from that pair of curtains. I mean, they were six foot curtains and they were the widest size you get. It was a question of storage. My craft room has overflowed into my bedroom so it is just as well I'm single and I don't want to be storing great big huge curtains because they were perfect with that wording on them they were perfect for junk journals so I sort of regret not buying them but where was I going to put them what I'm going to do now is switch you over to the desk area so you can get a better look at what I bought and for me to explain why I purchased what I purchased and how much I actually spent in total I think I did really, really well. I spent eight pounds, which is nine US dollars. I think that's about 17, 16, 17 Aussie dollars. This was 30 pence, 50 cents. And what I was thinking of doing with this is cutting along either side fairly evenly and using those as page borders. And as I tend to make A5 journals, you're going to get a lot of page borders from that. I got a few of these somewhere, which are these music score books. Oh, look, I've even got someone's handwriting where they transpose stuff. How cute. Oh, and notes. Oh, that's an added bonus. Lots and lots of music pages. Uh, I got, I think, three of these in the end. 50 pence, 75 cents this i showed you actually in the shop and i got it for all the pictures there are just so many that i can use in here some i can't but that's okay because they go both sides that's going to be the hard thing i know i could scan them but i never do this was a pound so about one dollar twenty about one and a half aussie dollars one dollar seventeen aussie as you can see, it's a mixture of pictures and black and white photos of life gone by in the UK. And even though some of these pictures are really big, you can isolate little bits of them. You've even got these pretend handwriting bits, which you could make into journal cards. Got lots of those. You've got lots of this sort of thing which you could take out and use as like a saying on a page or a collage. Old style adverts. You could stain that with a bit of vintage photo ink or coffee and it would look older. So there's just all sorts in here that can be used. That looks like it could be a watercolour. Illustrations, pen and ink just so much stuff that's some more of those music books they're quite a lot i mean there's pages and pages and pages of those oh and another one with a bit of extra in it university of dublin choral society these i love these readers digest journey into the past books i've used a lot of them this one i paid 85 pence so about one american dollar one dollar fifty in australian get your adverts you get your pictures background history and again I just cut these up they can be elements on a collage they can be journaling cards page decorations you name it and I don't mind that it's second world war because you can do a second world war themed junk journal they gave me two patterns for the price of one so that was 50 pence, 75 cents in US, about one Aussie dollar. I got them for the pattern paper to be used in junk journals and also for the illustrations on the front. I picked up just some of the National Geographic Kids ones, uh, four, because I have some adult ones, 10 pence each. This I didn't even open, but I could, I think I could tell that they were very interesting shaped cards and 30 pence, so 50 cents. And yeah, look, cover those up and you've got perfectly shaped journaling cards that you don't have to cut yourself. Or you can leave it in and leave one as it is, family charade game. I like junk journals to be full of 
cute little finds and I did also buy the Learn Geometry book just because when you do a masculine or grungy journal these are excellent for that style of journaling and it was only 35 pence so about 50 cents thanks for coming on that shopping trip with me if you enjoyed that type of video do let me know i'm thinking about doing reviews of things like the my my favorite glues my favorite distressing though that beginners particularly don't go out and feel like they have to buy all the things let me know if you want those style of videos on top of the tutorials there'll always be additional extras to the actual tutorials if you're in group and you are not already watching this on youtube please consider subscribing to the youtube channel i've made over 260 videos in nine ten months i am keeping up the pace i'm doing four to five videos a week on average and i do try to edit them normally to a shorter style than this this is just because it's more chatty if you're on youtube do your usual things give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already comment it all helps push this video out to a new audience on youtube and potentially gets me new subscribers and that is totally free to you it's a question of clicking a couple of buttons it means a huge amount to me when you do it and i will see you next time